What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. And man, you know I've been out a long time when my hair is looking like this. So I am finally at home. Uh, we'll kind of talk about that here in a little bit. But I'm at the Denver yard uh, about to leave here and uh, go back to the house. But uh, getting me home has been some trials and tribulation. So, you know, I had a had a co-driver so getting him home because he lived in Nevada from where we were at wasn't the easiest thing so finally got him home and you know it was just a number of these you know we don't have a load directly going from there to there can you get this load and drop him off you know on the way to the drop off on this load and then I dropped that load off then I had a claim on a load where there was an extra pallet of stuff left over so they wanted me to take that to the Salt Lake City Food Bank I'm not sure if any of you guys have been to the Salt Lake City Food Bank but that place is not meant for no big trucks but uh, delivered that pallet uh, there and then uh, went back to the terminal got a washout all this kind of stuff and then uh, I got the uh, well we don't have a load going directly there can you pick up this Chabani load and then uh, I think it was going to Massachusetts and then we'll get you repowered in Cheyenne you could deadhead home after that so I was like alright cool uh, load was paying pretty well so I went to the Chabani to go pick that up and uh, I was running out of hours right Donnie Trump's the line scumbag go Joe my truck drivers just can't have CBs but uh got to the Chibani I was running out of hours the trailer was not loaded they had a drop dead time on it of 12 or 23:59. so basically midnight uh, I just left you know went to the truck stop because they told me they were gonna call me when it was ready so the next morning when I was just about to head up there when my hours came back they called me and said the load was ready so went and picked that up and then uh, got on my way so the best part about this is I picked up about $360 worth of detention for some time I wouldn't have been able to drive anyway. So uh, that turned a decent load into an excellent load. So uh, I told my fleet manager, you know, because this has just been some trials and tribulations this last week. Told my fleet manager, just get me home and forget about me for a while. So. I don't know how long I'm going to stay home. I'm at least stay home a week. And it could be closer to 10, 12 days. I'm not 100% sure yet. The way things have kind of came down the pike was today's Friday, so it was payday. I told my payroll person to put all my money into the emergency fund. So I got a decent amount building back up in there again. And then uh, my next payday which I'll be off is going to be for this load that I got or brought from Chibani out here that load is paying like with the detention for about what 677 miles plus about 180 deadhead that's paying about 1900 so that's going to basically cover my truck and maybe any fuel that I had kind of come over from the last uh last trips or whatever anyway I'll be breaking even uh, you know up until next Friday then after that if I went into the hole I have a bunch of my money in emergency fund to kind of pick that up so sitting pretty good on this uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go live here probably tonight or tomorrow and I just want to talk about business and trucking. And I know I was going to be doing some videos on it, but to actually sit down and plan out a video like that takes a whole lot of time. So I figured what I'd do, go live, kind of do it off the top of my head, and that'll allow me to respond to any questions or things like that. And I'm sure there's going to be some differing opinions in some of this. Uh, so just to kind of... Uh, set the tone for this one of the things I'm gonna be talking about is business credit and for what in trucking I mean why 
so we'll be talking about that uh, as well as just a few other things uh, how <clears throat> how banks actually look at you from a business standpoint you know just kind of general things like that so that's kind of it uh, I think I might stop off on the way home and get me a little beef eater gin just to kind of mellow out a little bit uh, I'm not built for this being out two months and that kind of stuff and you know some people are like well I stay out five months and all stuff and you know as a team driver and I'm not talking about a husband and wife team or anything like that I'm talking about as a team driver not training none of that stuff as a team driver two months for me it's just too much time to be out uh, so I know I'm kind of rambling but I got a lot of stuff on my mind so next time I go out I'll probably be out for about five weeks I'm not sure how the holidays are gonna kind of play into this uh, I'm not sure if Prime is gonna put out any bonuses for the holiday stuff like that I'll have to kind of take that into consideration but uh, that's about it you know uh, definitely need to uh, kind of start thinking about eating a little better stuff like that I mean it was bad enough you know since I got into trucking uh, let's see gained about 25 pounds since I've been into trucking <laughs> the majority of that has been since this COVID happened because that kind of changed, you know, I used to go get me my, my little salad at, you know, Petro or TA and then go park wherever it's going to park and eat that. Then the team thing just blew the whole thing up because now you're not, you're not, you're kind of, you really aren't making your own plans when you're team driving in a sense. So you're kind of left to kind of what's available at any given point. So Plus, you don't have a lot of room in a refrigerator with two people, things like that. So, uh, definitely going to focus a little bit more on that on my way out. Because the last thing I need is these people trying to put me on a CPAP or some shit like that. So, definitely going to get that thing uh, or get that handled. But other than that, you know, I need to get uh, some videos done for my cooking channel just to kind of keep that moving along. I have a couple ideas for that. Got some products sent to me by some companies that uh, might want to use for some videos. But uh, listen, and this is one thing. If you're watching this video and you've asked me a question and I send you a phone number and say, call me, that's a lot to answer. Call me. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, or if you do leave your phone number and I call you and you don't answer, I'm not going to keep trying. I just don't have especially when I was teaming. Maybe I'll have that time when I go back out solo again, but I just don't have time to be, like, you know, trying to get back with somebody, you know, like that. So uh, if you have tried to get with me and maybe it went under the radar because it was definitely hard to uh, really kind of stay organized, whether it was just mentally organized or actually just organized in general when the truck just keeps moving and stuff like that. We did kind of slow up a little bit. I know I'm rambling. We did kind of change things up and it wasn't by design or anything like that. But the last, I don't know, month and a half, we stopped doing a lot of those coast to coast trips and did start doing a little bit more kind of shorter day, day and a half type stuff, which uh, in some cases hurt sleep, in some cases help sleep, but uh, a lot of those loads, as far as I was concerned, and maybe not as much for my co-driver, but uh, were better as far as pay and stuff like that goes. A lot of those coast-to-coast -coast trips weren't really paying all that well. And in the end, it's my job to bring profit to the truck. I mean, I do try to look out for people, but, you know, that's the main goal. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, be looking out for me if you want to kind of talk about this business credit another thing that I want to be talking about because I've seen a lot of people talking about college versus trucking and you know what you're looking at it all wrong so I want to talk about college versus trucking and this is coming from somebody that graduated high school with a 1.8 grade point average that had no higher education other than the education I got through the jobs that I've had in my life which I think kind of 
uh, educated me uh, pretty well financially and uh, business-wise, stuff like that. So no formal education, but we'll talk about that because I do think that people are looking at this all wrong where they're saying college is a waste of time and, you know, truckers make more money than college. Anyway, I'm going to save that for either another live video so I can go back and forth with some, with some people or I'll uh, just do a standalone video on that. But I do want to thank you guys for stopping by. No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I know it's been a while. Uh, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.